coverage you can count on is WRAL's 10 o'clock news on Fox 50. WRAL News, it's who you count on for local news and weather on Fox 50. Live every night at 10, the day's news and weather at a time that's convenient for you. Coverage you can count on is about time. Coverage you can count on is about convenience. Coverage you can count on is getting the news you need live when you need it. WRAL's 10 o'clock news on Fox 50. Coverage you can count on. Coverage you can count on is WRAL's morning weather. The forecast on the screen all the time, so it's easier to plan your day. Live conditions in your hometown with the live Doppler 5000, so you know immediately if it's rain or shine. And morning meteorologist Mike Mays, who's predicted North Carolina weather for years, so you get an accurate forecast. Another wet start for us this morning. The rain's still around. Start your day with WRAL 7 a.m. news on Fox 50. Coverage you can count on. Next at 10, rumors turn into truth. Matt Doherty resigns as head basketball coach at UNC. We'll have reaction from Chapel Hill. Plus, Allied forces rescue one of the first U.S. soldiers to be taken prisoner in Iraq. Next on Fox 50. I'm Deborah Morgan. Next to 10 from the air and on the ground, the all-out assault toward capturing Baghdad is on tonight. Two mysteries merge into one case of a missing Raleigh woman. And the Tar Heels will start next season with a new coach. The news starts now. U.S. forces rescue a female American prisoner of war in Iraq. That's just one of tonight's major developments in the war with Iraq. We'll have more on that in just a moment. But first, North Carolina is in search of a new men's basketball head coach. After less than three years at the helm of his alma mater, Matt Dougherty has resigned. Jeff Grafley joins us now with more on this announcement. And Jeff, uh, few people can say they didn't see this coming. No, they didn't, and it's no April Fool joke either here on April Fool's Day. Matt resigned, will be paid $337,000. You know, if you look at his three-year record of 53 and 43, the question can be raised is, that's such a bad record. 